Hey everyone, I'm David Walrod and you're watching Urban Dirt. Things are really starting to take shape in the garden, if I do say so myself. And I did. <laughs> I'm actually sitting at the finished bar pergola. I'm gonna call it a bargola. It's a simple design and will surely add a lot of interest and be a highlight for this urban garden. Last week we started by sinking two 10-foot 4x4 sealed redwood posts two feet into the ground, securing it in concrete. From there, I attached two 2x6 redwood planks at the top of the structure. I inserted a 6-inch block of 2x4 to create additional dimension. I finished the top off with rough cut 2x2 redwood. I was able to save a lot of money by buying the rough cut lumber in the garden section rather than going to the lumber section and buying the finished redwood. What's the difference? Nothing a little sanding wouldn't fix. Now for the bar countertop, the design element of this bargola that makes this an urban dirt winner. Mike and Elizabeth said they wanted a place to entertain. Well, nothing says party better than a bar. This beautiful countertop is actually a 100-year-old tongue and groove plank door from a Hollywood church that was recently renovated. I bought this door at a lesser known salvage yard. The business owner sold me this door and two others like it for $100, quite a bargain considering I can use them for three different projects. And what a conversation piece. This is what the old church door looked like before. I did a light sanding, applied Thompson's water seal, and four coats of spar varathane, making it countertop ready and leaving just enough rustic character. The key to making an accurate and snug fit for the countertop is to mock up your design on a big piece of cardboard first. Make your final adjustments and then lay it all out on the real piece of wood. Especially considering that it's a 100 year old piece of wood, you wanna make sure you get it right the first time. <laughs> when you attach the countertop, make sure and add plenty of support. This bar is gonna have to hold up to years of margaritas and elbow bending. And what did I do with the other church door? I made a matching tabletop, of course. This time I'm using the back side of the door that does not have the cross supports, which will give a much more practical flat dining surface. By the way, the awesome chairs, seven bucks a piece at a thrift store called Out of the Closet. I'm pretty sure the salesperson had a crush on me. <laughs> All right, so if that wasn't enough recycling for you guys, I found this music stand in Mike's garage, which he's no longer using. I'm using it as a support for our tabletop. I attached the table by pre-drilling holes. A little tip, you don't want to drill all the way through to the top of the table, just deep enough for the screw to go in. Mark the depth with a piece of white tape. I'm using one and a quarter inch U-shaped conduit braces. Now we have music in the church. Let's talk garden borders. Borders in the landscape are definitely a way you can add interest and dynamic. Finding alternative materials to make your borders is a great way to save a lot of money. These old bricks were stacked up in Mike and Elizabeth's front yard from a failing landscape. Back here, we put them to good use and it cost us nothing. Old bricks and pavers, popular item on Craigslist in the free section. Placing the bricks in a non-traditional arrangement adds further interest and texture. Using Mexican beach pebble as a ground cover really makes both materials stand out. Beyond the pebble is our recycled patio pavers that have been made into a planter. They've been painted with concrete stain on the outside. I sealed the cracks between the paver walls with concrete sealer, so drainage is limited to the bottom and the back of the unsealed planter. The key to laying these brick borders and making them secure is digging and tamping. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, my old chin-up bar. The chin-up bar, oddly enough, brings me here to a 160 pound genuine stone trough that I'm going to make into water feature. Let me explain. Chin-up bar, guns, 160 pound stone trough. 